Former South African President Jacob Zuma has 21 days to appeal his expulsion from the governing African National Congress. The party's disciplinary committee expelled the former president and leader of the ANC from the group for violating the party's constitution. Zuma led the opposition Umkonto Wesizwe Party, or MK, in the last election, despite remaining a member of the ANC. Kate Bartlett reports from Johannesburg. Jacob Zuma was a member of the African National Congress, or ANC, for 65 years. The octogenarian politician joined the anti-apartheid movement as a young man in 1959. Like fellow ANC stalwart Nelson Mandela, he was jailed on Robben Island for his part in the fight against white minority rule. Also like Mandela, Zuma went on to serve as president after the advent of South Africa's democracy. But his association with the storied movement saw an ignoble end on Monday. Former President Jacob Zuma has actively impugned the integrity of the ANC and campaigned to dislodge the ANC from power. That was ANC Secretary General Fikile Mabalula explaining the party's decision to expel Zuma. Zuma, 82, was forced to resign in disgrace near the end of his second term as president in 2018 amid numerous corruption scandals. He is widely accused of enabling what is known in South Africa as state capture, basically the handing over of state-owned enterprises and even some ministries to his businessmen friends. He has always denied wrongdoing. Bitter at the ANC, Zuma threw his weight behind the newly formed Mkonto Wasizwe, or MK Party, in December 2023. Despite his suspension from the party, he remained a member of the ANC, while acting as the public face and leader of the populist MK Party. While Zuma himself was barred from running for office due to a prior criminal conviction, he campaigned for MK using vicious rhetoric against his successor, President Cyril Ramaphosa. Despite all the corruption allegations against him, Zuma has always retained massive support in his home province of KwaZulu-Natal. MK did very well there in May 29 elections, which saw it become the third biggest party in South Africa with almost 15% of the vote. Despite MK's success, Zuma rejected the results, falsely claiming voting irregularities without any evidence. Mbalula also referenced this when announcing the expulsion. Furthermore, former President Zuma has been running on a dangerous platform that casts doubt on our entire constitutional edifice. He has meted out a host of anti-revolutionary outbursts, including mischievously calling into question the credibility of our electoral processes without cause. Official election results saw the ANC lose its parliamentary majority for the first time since the start of democracy in 1994, forcing it to form a coalition in order to govern. MK is now the official opposition in parliament, led by a Zuma-aligned disgraced former judge. Professor David Everett of Johannesburg's Witwatersrand School of Governance said he was surprised only that it took the ANC so long to expel Zuma. It shows very clearly that the balance of forces has swung very strongly against Jacob Zuma and he doesn't have the support inside the ANC to try and defend himself. Ugandan military officer Lieutenant General Sam Kavuma finally took office as the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia Force Commander on July 28th, more than three months after he was named to the post in April to replace his compatriot Lieutenant General Sam Okiding, who was appointed Deputy Chief of Defense Forces of Uganda People's Defense Forces. UPDF spokesperson Brigadier General Felix Ikulaiji blamed the wrong weight for Lieutenant General Kavuma to go to Somalia on a long approval process by the African Union Peace and Security Council for high-level appointments to the peacekeeping force. The long approval process means 
the tenure of General Kavuma at the top of Artemis command is cut to five months as the forces mandate in the Horn of Africa nation expires at the end of this year as per UN Security Council resolutions. Upon arrival in Mogadishu on July 28th, the new force commander met with the head of Artemis Ambassador Mohamed El Amini and senior leadership at the mission headquarters. Lieutenant General Kavma also received a briefing from senior Artemis military officers led by the deputy force commander in charge of support and logistics, Major General Peter Moteti, on the security situation in Somalia and the process made in implementing the mission mandate. No stranger to peacekeeping in the Horn of Africa, Lieutenant General Kavma is on his second stint in Somalia where he was contingent commander of Ugandan troops from October 2014 to November 2016, serving in the African Union transition in Somalia, Amisom, the predecessor of Artemis. The federal government of Somalia and the international partners have worked collaboratively towards the progress we see today. Lieutenant General Kavuma joined the UPDF in the early 1980s and has held several senior positions, including Division Commander, Deputy Air Force Commander, and Deputy Commander Land Forces in Uganda. Prior to his latest appointment, he was a legislator representing the military in Uganda's parliament and Deputy Chief Coordinator of Uganda's National Wealth Creation Program. He also served in the Central African Republic as commander of the African Union Authorized Regional Task Force deployed to hunt down the Lodi's Resistance Army Insurgency Group. Previously, he oversaw operations in South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Uganda. Stay tuned. Mm hmm.